And welcome back to another episode of Enigmatica 6 Expert, where today we're going to be uh, continuing on with our work towards the Mechanism Fission Reactor. Which is going to be cool when we get there. Going to be cool when we get there. Uh, in between episodes, I've been modifying some of this setup. Uh, so now we're using the Enriched Diamonds and the Enriched Obsidian, um, which is a little bit more efficient. Uh, it does mean we have to do a little bit of extra processing, so we've kind of got this enrichment chamber sitting here. Uh, taking care of that. Uh, it's a little bit slow, to be honest. A little bit slow. But over time he's gonna he's gonna catch up. And it should be okay. Um, currently crafting the structural glass that we need. So I think we're kind of kind of working towards like a a basic setup. Now whether or not this comes with uh, instructions on how to how to actually build this uh, I don't know but apparently we need five control rod assemblies we've made one okay we've got the building so there is a pattern for constructing all of this so that's kind of cool these fission fuel assemblies don't look too bad we're still not making fission fuel uh, but it's these reactor casings we're not stuck on but these are the next thing we need and we're gonna need one bucket of concrete per casing okay now i was thinking about setting up some sort of automation for this but maybe that's overkill because if we think about it unless for now we just need 69 fission reactor casings uh unless they're used okay they're kind of used in these things so we're going to need more than that um, but i think like most of the stuff's pretty easy it's the, the casings are the hard but we need what four ports four ports so I think, I think it's 85 casings in total we're going to need. Okay, I probably should put that on a sign or something. Because uh, I'm going to forget. There we go. That's going to stop me from forgetting what we're after there. Uh, so I might change this setup. Because this stores... I think these are 32 buckets each. If we disconnect this... I'm going to replace that tank. With one of these big ones that holds 128. Like if we manage to fill this up with concrete. That would be pretty good. That would probably be enough. And then for making concrete. It is gravel. Clay and that uh, other stuff. Slag. I think these are the ingredients. Um, and if I'm right, we should be able to put these in here. And I believe... I think that's concrete. If we look up the recipe for a mixer... We make concrete powder. No, we want the... Oh, there it was. Uh, gravel, slag, and, and, or clay. Oh, and that gets you asphalt concrete, which is not what we want. We want liquid concrete. Cool. So that's a way now. We have one bucket. That's one reactor casing. <laughs> Let's see what else we would need if we tried to craft that. Because did I teach the recipe? I did. If we were to ask for 85... That's oh, only the concrete we're missing. I chucked the, the recipe for this into our dissolution chambers uh, crafter and I was just hoping for the best. And yeah, we just need 85 buckets of liquid concrete. That's the last one of my awesome sandwiches. I have to make some more. I think it's, it's filling up our nutrition. So we're getting 20% of attack speed. That's quite nice. Five extra health. I mean, once we get into uh, astral sorceries, attunement stuff, that's when it's going to be really good. But uh, we should have enough liquid concrete. And I'm actually going to go for the external storage approach on this tank. Um, and if we set that to fluid. Cool. We should now have. If we can get out of, out of the hole on the ground. We should now have 128 buckets of concrete. We do. And now that means we can create. How many reactor casings? 85. 
let's go for 85 and we should have everything go. Now does that like instantly drain the tank? It totally does. That was cool. We're actually low on slag. Is the is the thing. There's not much left in the system. We're also having the, the problem where all of these chests are getting full. Like they're all getting full of stuff. We got a lot of sticks. I don't even know where that's coming from. Um, so I could go through and have a bit of a tidy up. I already did some compressing. It looks like we're getting a bunch of chunks of stuff and a bunch of nuggets we could probably do something with. Yeah. Some of the stuff should be, and I thought it already was. Oh, I don't have like a void thing on uranium. So that's why it's filling up some of these chests. Yeah, we probably want to, <laughs> we probably want to get some storage upgrades on uranium for a start. But uh, I'll I'll do that in between uh, bits and pieces. Charge up our suit with some more air pressure. Always a good idea. Always a good idea. Uh, that that barely did anything, but uh, cool. So we got a whole bunch of this stuff happening. We're still kind of waiting on the structural glass because of all this enriched obsidian and stuff, which ran into trouble because, uh, right, we're, we're struggling. We need to get a whole bunch more obsidian dust, I think. Um, I mean, we've got a bunch of this refined obsidian. Why is it not? I think I've set something up silly over here. Uh, like, why is this just not always going in? I guess we could put it in there, but sometimes we might want obsidian dust for other things. Yeah. That's going to start. Should end up in here. Hopefully. Is that what's happening? I'm not sure if I just missed it. Oh, that's totally what's happening. Cool. Yeah, I discovered that the system was full because... This chest had stuff in it, and it wasn't getting extracted because uh, everything was full. So that's going to be a thing we have to deal with at some point. I think we could get storage drives and stuff. I just haven't haven't spent the time uh, sorting out, you know, what we need to automate to make that happen. That'll be the structural glass. Now we just wait on these other bits and pieces. Uh, I guess we could make a start on... Uh, well, I think the fission reactor ports are going to be fine. But we should perhaps make these logic adapters. Oh, they're pretty simple, but it is two more reactor casings. Okay, let's not worry about that. That's going to be easy. Uh, fuel rod assembly, we're going to need another four of these and these fission things. So I probably don't want to get too much crafting happening at the same time. But if we were to ask for four more of these, not an issue. Since it's a bit of infused alloy and stuff, I don't want to just kick it off right now. And the other thing with these fission fuel rod assemblies. We'll create, create the recipe for that. Check it in our much larger crafter. Uh, and if we wanted, how many? 30. 30. 30 fuel assemblies. We need way more cobalt. Okay. I mean, we've got 30 here that hasn't been processed. Wait, why is, why is this not getting processed? I thought I had this. Oh, yeah, it is. It's just this is full waiting on stuff. Uh, maybe we check like a... We'll check that in there, so they hopefully get processed there as well. I might go move the digital miner. I assume it's still running. Uh, just so we make sure we get a bit more cobalt. And that, I think that was the only thing. Well, I'm definitely going to have to get some cobalt bees. I'm not sure what's involved, but uh, yeah. At least for this part, we, we need a fair bit of cobalt. Um, so I made another scanner module, and now we can now we can scan for it, which is cool. Whoops, that was too much. Uh, which is cool, but I would rather just not have to worry about cobalt. Um, 
Oh dear. Okay. Yep, all right. All right then. Okay, maybe not. <laughs> All right, a bit of crafting and some nether resource gathering later. I think. I think we're going to be good. I think we're going to be good. So I crafted the ports, and this should finish the quest actually. Nice, nice. Uh, patterns I can check in there. So that's finished this, and we get an epic mechanism loot box. Speed upgrades and energy upgrades. Maybe that other stuff? I, I don't think so. That's pretty good. That's pretty good. So this is done. So it looks like next up we've got the Fission Reactor Logic Adapters. Uh, maybe slightly unnecessary recipe, but let's, let's chuck that in there. Um, I also want to start crafting those fuel rods. Uh, and they were, they were the next one. Well, the fuel assemblies. Do we have enough? We've got enough stuff for that. So we'll kick that off. That's going to be crafting a whole bunch of stuff. Nothing that should conflict. I hope, I hope. Uh, cool. We could then also get started on... Ooh, do I want to use these for that? I don't think so. I think this is exactly the number of efficient casings we need. So let's not do that. Um, a logic adapter. If we ask for two, two logic adapters. Um, but that looks okay. I'll take the gamble that that's all going to craft nicely together. Ah, sweet. That should be pretty neat. Um, more waiting for crafting. Yeah, my crafting's a little bit slow for some stuff. You know, part of me wants to spend the time uh, improving the infrastructure. But, uh, nah. I'll get some stuff made. I'll get some get some cool stuff up and running. Like this reactor. It'll be very helpful. I'm struggling on power again. I don't know where it's all going. But it's all going somewhere. Actually, is it going up here? Here, is it these things? No, because this isn't running anymore. I mean, this is only 250. Um, we could probably turn this down. Let's go. 200. Should be okay, I think. Should be okay, I think. Um, we've got another thing over here it's another 200 so yeah I did this off camera too we've got a resistive heater now so these things always are up to temperature um, so whenever we need to craft things it just works which is neat all right I think we're we're ready we're ready we just need the last control rod assemblies that's it I think we have and yes, I was just looking at this quest, uh, which we're, we're going to examine just in a minute. But we have finished this one. Fuel Rod Assembly. So I think... Oh, we've got some more speed upgrades. I think this is everything we need to make ourselves a reactor. Now, there is one small problem. Um, if, you've, if you've used these reactors before, and that is... They don't make power by themselves. Um, which may or may not be an issue. Um, we could get away with not worrying about generating power, but I would like power generation. We are a little bit struggling. Um, so the next thing we're gonna have to get into is making the industrial turbine. Now I started having a, a bit of a look like these components are, are easy. Uh, these we've made. We haven't made a supreme machine frame. Oh, isn't he? Oh, that's the occultism stuff. I think we can occasionally get that. So I think we can pull this off. That's easy. This is a little bit more involved. Uh, but I don't think... Having a look, I don't think any of that's too bad. 
Um, we've got the set shredding condensers. That looks easy. Turbine casings. They need HDPE. So we're going to have to to get into that next. Um, that looks fine. That looks fine. And hey, that, that kind of looks fine. So I think it's just HDPE, which is, which is here. She needs the liquid ethylene and oxygen. And where do we get ethylene from? Right. Hydrogen and water. And turns biofuel into substrate. Substrate. Turns into HDPE. Right. Cool. Oh, or... Oh, you can turn one substrate into multiple substrates. That's kind of cool, actually. Maybe that'll be worth doing. And then HDPE. And then we can turn that into sheets, or we can press it into sheets, or we can enrich it into sheets, or we can press it into sheets. Nice. Uh, so we should be able to get the building gadget schematic for making this reactor. So it's going to be in the copy paste one. Now I have to be careful with this. I, I don't want to undo it. Uh, we set it to copy mode. <laughs> Or go into, I think we go into a template manager. So I can't remember what this was. Um, uh, how do we, how do we load or save? Just gonna see if I can try and grab the design for the reactor from the building gadget stuff. Um, just reading this warning. Enigmatica 6 has tweaked steam production rates, so do not assume your reactor is safe. Test rigorously. Yeah. Yeah, we're going to have to be careful with that. So I've got it copied to my clipboard. Paste. Paste from clipboard. There we go. So we've got the fission reactor. I'll load it into here. And then um, if we check this on paste mode, I think it's currently locked somewhere. Like over there. Maybe right there. <laughs> Maybe right there. So, okay, so this is going to be the size of the reactor. Let's unanchor it. Um, I guess it would make sense to place it in, in like our nuclear facility. Um, we're going to have the turbine as well. Oh, I just accidentally pasted it. I've still got casings left. Oh, I think these casings have to go on the bottom. Uh, if we undo, and don't push undo again because it might undo pasting <laughs> this. Uh, but if we, we put it there. Uh, and then we've got the ports. It's redstone control. I guess that makes sense. We can have all the stuff off to the side. Paste. And that's used all of those materials. And hey, we have a reactor and it is running. Well, of course, not, not really running, but ready, ready to run. That's cool. That is cool. And then we'll put a steam turbine, I don't know, somewhere. We, we can put a we can put a steam turbine somewhere but hey pretty good progress today we've got ourselves the fission reactor we of course can't use it yet and uh, even if we could we couldn't generate power from it but soon soon it'll be coming it'll be coming but anyway it's been classic stuff thanks for watching come back next time and uh continue working on some mechanism like hdp probably the next thing anyway see us